Are language barriers holding back your team's productivity and collaboration? Imagine hosting meetings where everyone understands each other perfectly, no matter what language they speak. In this video, we'll dive into powerful new translation features in Microsoft Teams that make your meetings more accessible and inclusive as well to people joining your meetings. First, we'll explore the groundbreaking AI interpreter feature translating meetings in real time. So everyone can participate confidently. Next, we'll demonstrate how to use Teams live captions to instantly translate spoken words into multiple languages, ensuring clarity and engagement for all of your meeting participants. And finally, we'll walk you through translating Teams chat messages instantly, keeping conversations across your chats and channels seamless and effective. So stick around to learn how Microsoft Teams can break down language barriers, boost your team's efficiency, and transform your meetings into truly global, inclusive experiences. But before we dive in, did you know that over 90% of the viewers aren't subscribed to our channel? So if you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button. You'll get access to tutorials just like this every single week, and it really helps us grow the channel so we can continue to bring you the very best in Microsoft 365 tips and training. So let's head into Microsoft Teams and find out how easy it is now to translate your meetings. To get started and use AI interpreter features, go ahead and open your Microsoft Teams meeting. Then select the free dot menu and select language and speech and turn on interpreter. At this point, you can now tell it which language you'd like to translate into. So in this example, I've selected English, so I want to hear the other party speaking English during the meeting. I can also change the various settings like the balance volume to hear less or more of the person who's speaking in a different language. Once that's done, we're all set, and the interpreter is now enabled, and we begin to translate our meeting, as we'll see in this example here. Salut Scott, comment tu vas aujourd'hui? Hi Scott, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. How are you doing today, Kerry? Je vais bien, merci. J'avais juste besoin I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to clarify how I could use Copilot to write my emails. No problem, Kerry. All you need to do is to go into Outlook, click on the Copilot button in the ribbon bar at the top, and you can go ahead and draft an email of your choice. You can give it a prompt, and it will then create a really professional email, which will hopefully get you started as well. Super. Et est-ce que je peux aussi changer le ton de l'email ou le réécrire avec And can I also change the tone of the email or rewrite it with Copilot? Absolutely. With Copilot, what you can easily do is refine the output of the email. Whether you want to change the tone, make it more professional, all you'll need to do is add that into the prompt and it'll rewrite the email for you. So why not give that a quick try and see if that helps you out as well. C'est génial, Scott. J'apprécie vraiment ton aide et j'adore ta Hi, chaîne. Hi Scott, I really appreciate your help and I love your YouTube channel too. I just subscribed. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that, Kerry. Have a great day. If you've got any other questions with Copilot, just let me know. C'est super, merci Scott. À très bientôt. That's great. Thank you, Scott. See you soon. So in that example, what we saw there was real-time voice translation from the other party in the Microsoft Teams meeting. We saw and heard that the other party was speaking in real time. And then with a very short delay, a live translation was being processed and played to me in real time with AI. And I could respond to the other party, answering her questions in real time. And I was also able to tailor the voice and the playback of the translation, which was all personal to me. The other party could also have the same setup, translating my responses back into French, allowing us to have a conversation without knowing that either of us using AI translation live in Microsoft Teams. But also, alongside this option, there are other options around captions. Let's go and find out how we can also enable that in our Teams meeting to have a different set of capability when it comes to working with other people in other languages. And there's another option to translate your live Microsoft Teams meetings with the help of captions. I've set up a meeting with Alex and I'm logged in on Alex's computer here. Alex is using Microsoft Teams in German, but in the meeting itself, I'm gonna be speaking in English. But Alex can do is translate this live using captions into German. 
To do that, you click on the freed up menu and select language and then turn on live captions. It will identify that I'm using Microsoft Teams and speaking in English and immediately it will provide the translation straight for Alex in German, ensuring any key messages are also well understood. If Alex however wanted to change a language, he could do so through the settings option and he could change the different languages or even turn off live captions entirely so you wouldn't see it no longer in German and now it only shows in English. So you can see how easy live captions with translation in meetings can make it much easier for colleagues who work in different locations around the world. Before we jump into the next part, a quick reminder. You can get even more out of Microsoft 365 with our free ebook collection. We've put together some incredible resources on Microsoft Loop, Copilot, Teams, Planner and loads more. So whether you're just getting started or looking to level up your productivity game, there's something in there for everyone. So just hit the link in the video description below and download your free copy and start your journey to becoming a productivity superstar today. So now you've leveled up your skills, let's dive back in and find out what else Teams can do for us. And also there is a way we can use Microsoft Teams to translate your Microsoft Teams chat messages. Alex has sent me a message in German here relating to our marketing project, but unfortunately I don't understand German, so I need to have this translated for me. Microsoft Teams is aware of the language difference, and here we see an option to translate. By left clicking in real time, we'll see an English translation for the message that Alex went and sent to me. But the problem is again, I don't speak or write German. So I'm gonna go back with Alex in more information in English, and he can do much the same as we'll see in a moment. And here Alex has now had a response back to me, but of course it's in English. But the same option is available for Alex. By clicking the translate button here, it now be translated back into German, allowing me and Alex to have a conversation together about language being the boundary in Microsoft Teams chat. And that's immediately available to you when you want to translate messages using Teams chat and help you on projects and more. And there you have it. We've now seen how Microsoft Teams can now translate meetings in real time with AI and also live captions and how that can support translation into multiple languages. And how Teams chat and channels can be translated on the fly to keep conversations flowing without friction. So we're now living in a new era where language doesn't have to be the barrier to communication and that's incredibly exciting. But as in many technologies, it's not without its complications. The licensing can be a little tricky here. The interpreter powered by AI is part of a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. But if you want to use live captions for real-time meeting translation, or you're going to need a separate Teams Premium license. It's not something included within our Copilot license. Hopefully that's something I personally hope that Microsoft rethinks in the future because having clear access and alignment between these licenses would really help more people take advantage of these powerful features and truly make the world a smaller place. That said, these tools are incredibly useful and show just how far technology has come in making communication more accessible for everyone. So if you found this video useful, why not give it a like? It really helps our channel grow. And don't forget to hit that all important subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our weekly Microsoft 365 tutorials. And don't be part of that 90% who watch but never subscribe. So join our community and stay ahead with your 365 coach. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.